Hi, Capricorn. All right, so as I said to the other signs, this is for the beginning of February. Um, yes, I know I look like the prisoner from Azkaban. I can't, I, I don't really, I don't want to put my extensions back in my hair, so we're just going to wing it, guys. We're just going to look like a wild crone, okay? That is what we're, so we're using my romance deck for the beginning of February. It doesn't mean it's just all about romance. It's just I haven't used this deck in a while. Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising for the beginning of February. What do you want Capricorn to know? What messages do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn. Capricorn, are you getting into a relationship in February? Hmm. If it's not a relationship, I'm going to tell you right now, you are getting into something. And it could just even be a new career move, okay? But it looks like a relationship for now. No, it definitely looks like a relationship. It's something destined for you, Capricorn. Again, if if you're like, absolutely not, I would never get in a relationship. I actually hate people like badly. Then this is probably another career move. This is where you would get paid more. Um, it's something that will just pop up. It's not like one of those... It's nothing you would chase. It would chase you. Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. This could be a past person, though. Okay, this would have been somebody that you two have had a hard time walking away from each other, even though there's been some pain and rejection. This person just wants to have growth and stability with you. Huh. If, again, going back to what I said, you're not looking for a relationship, you might still hear from somebody that did something to you from the past, okay? It doesn't mean you're going to get involved with them. I'm just saying they, they'll probably reach out. For those of you that are involved in anything to do with court, it's, I don't see it going in your favor. I apologize for that. I also see it being very costly. Um, for those of you that are <clears throat> absolutely not going to reconcile, the number seven is um, important to that one, but absolutely do not want to reconcile. Express, ex expect this person to be very um, explosive, it, you know, very bitter about it, very like uh, spiteful even, okay? If you do reconcile with this person, um, I don't, I really don't, I don't think it's going to last. I really, really don't. Very similar to what I said to Virgo, okay? These cards are not the same, but they look very similar. When you're trying to manifest something in your life, sometimes you, you don't, you know, sometimes you, you don't see the results because you're not going at it maybe the correct way. Um, it's saying here, use your instincts. It's saying here, like, allow things to happen, but almost like organically. Only because there are some things that you're not seeing that are going on behind the scenes. And, and if you knew, your manifestation might be different. So if you're not seeing the manifestation come like quick enough or at all, it's because the universe knows something that you don't know. And so you might want to kind of like tweak the way you're trying to bring things in. Capricorn for the beginning of February. Somebody saying goodbye to could be a... a, a air sign looks like an air sign that could have been somebody that you had a pretty good connection with they might be moving away or um or just now it looks like they're moving but i do think that it, like it'll be a sad goodbye but i don't think it's going to be something that's going to like ruin your life or anything it's you know bittersweet capricorn Capricorn, you're having a hard time letting go of something. 
Um, it doesn't look like a person. It looks like almost like a bad habit or something of that nature, okay? Sort of like, wrong card here. Um, <clears throat> it's sort of like you may be doing something that causes some sort of imbalance in your life and you're just having a hard time not having this behavior, whatever it is. Like maybe you, um, you know, you get up and eat ice cream every single night. You know, it's like, it's like what you do you know it's you're you're addicted to doing it not because ice cream is addictive but just like the the um well, i don't know what you call that i can't think of the word um but anyway so it, it's saying here like you need to let go of some sort of like bad habit that you have that is that is health related okay so something that you do that really isn't good for you Taking it slow, especially when it comes to any sort of connection in February. That is very, very smart. And again, like I said, I do think that you're going to hear from somebody from the past. Um, but they're, they're sharp-tongued here. I would be careful with that because I, think, I don't think you can win. I don't. I think that if you say no, take a hike, they're going to act out. And I think that if you say yes, it's just going to fail again. When it comes to your financial situation, so you're heading in the right direction here with the Four of Wands. I really think that, you know, you can make a lot out of what you do. Um, not necessarily money, just, you know, you can find it very fulfilling. I am, I really do like your career path um, going into February or in February. You might hear something, ooh, you might hear some news about somebody who is, this person was sneaky, a bit treacherous, could be work, could be family, could be ex, whatever. You might hear something about them, just an FYI in February, that I think will put a smile on your face. Um, and with the devil in reverse, I do think that you are going to have better coping mechanisms um, come February. That maybe you're like right now you might be struggling, but I don't think that's going to last. Something will be illuminated. Could be with a fire sign. And then the tower's here. What is the tower? What is going to be illuminated with this fire sign? I'm seeing roses, pink roses. Something may happen to them. That has to do with their finances. So there's two ways to look at this. You may be dealing with, and it looks like a fire sign doesn't have to be, okay? Um, this tower moment is basically something happening to them. And I don't know if that's going to cost you money or cost them money, but somebody's going to come out of money. But on the other hand, um, I feel like if this is a business partner, or if this is somebody that you guys work financially with, I'd be careful because I feel like there's some sort of um, manipulation there or some sort of false. It's almost like, how can I put this? I, like, it would be like if they called you and were like, oh my God, somebody stole my, you know, paycheck out of my car, you know, and now I'm screwed and I don't know what to do and you want to help them, but like, the, did somebody really take their paycheck? Are they just kind of using you for this? I don't know. I don't really like that situation. Just be mindful of that, especially if you know a fire sign, okay? Um, I'm going to switch decks now. No, I'm on Capricorn. Capricorn, beginning of February. Oops. Money looks good for you, Capricorn. Money looks good. I see changes, though. I see lots of changes, whether it's you're starting a new business or you're investing somewhere or you're changing jobs, but it looks good. It looks really, really good.
yeah, there is some sort of like manifestation here around your money as well. Like something, maybe it was like the, the job of your dreams is going to come up. Something like that. I like it. It looks fantastic. I wish I was better with timing though, because I feel like it could take past February and here I am telling you, oh no, it's going to happen in February. For many of you, it will, right? But it's not going to be for everybody. Growth and prosperity. Excellent. 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 Oh, why is this? You might, you might get invited somewhere and choose not to go. Um, there's two ways to look at this. You could avoid an argument by not going, but you might also avoid meeting somebody who could be very, um, uh, supportive in some sort of way to you. They're coming out as a water sign, doesn't have to be, okay? Um, but this person, you know, really like would, would take some sort of weight off your shoulders, I guess, in some way, whether that's emotionally or, you know, I, I just, again, I see that you're, you're, you're going to hesitate or you're not going to go. And I feel like you're avoiding it because you don't want an argument or you don't want some, you know, you know, chaos or whatever that maybe the people that are going, you're not really fond of whatever it is, but you might end up not being able to meet this person if that happens. And I think this person would be very good for you, Capricorn, whether it's just a friend or it turns into something else. Okay. Three more cards. I'm going to end it here for Capricorn. Okay. Again, I really would avoid giving anybody money or helping anybody out financially that tells you that there's something going on in their life that they need help with because I think they're tricking you and it just came out again. So that's why I'm going to reiterate. All right, Capricorn, I hope this helps.